The poorly built 600 miles of canals gave way to the flood waters of 1905, and by 1906, a fully fledged lake was being formed, 40 miles long and 13 miles wide. At its deepest point, it's 55 feet. Kind of the salt and sea beaches are actually made up of tiny fish bones that crunch under your feet as you walk along them. During the 1920s, the freshwater lake became a tourist attraction. Migrating birds became a huge part of the ecosystem. Speedboats and fishing were the most popular uses of the lake. In the 1950s, the Salton Sea had passed Yosemite in yearly visitors. Small resort destinations were being built, and the American dream had made its way into the otherwise wasteland of California. It's a hot tourist attraction. What are you talking about? This is hot stuff. Irrigation taking clean, fresh water to the salt saturated soils of the farmland had returned tainted and full of harsh fertilizers. Evaporation from the arid desert pulled water out as well. This combined, it slowly helped create the highly toxic water with no outlet. Many species of fish could no longer survive. With a rising salinity, currently exceeding 4%, the number of 4.4% is noted as the death of all fish, excluding tilapia. Ironically, it has been dubbed a crown jewel of avian diversity and supports 30% of the remaining population of the American white pelican. Just outside of Neyland, California, is Slab City, an abandoned U.S. Navy camp which is home to nearly 3,000 residents. made this tree with a truck tire. Right. And I filled it full of adobe. Okay. Ten car tires with wet adobe. And it's hardened in like a smart ball. Alright. And it's tougher than a boot. It's a tractor tire tree. The <laughs> bigger the tire, the bigger the tree. Yeah. And people really like my tractor tire oh, tree. It's nice. all full of adobe. Yeah, it goes well. When they, I put all the lids and the sticks in there out in the desert. Now 
I've been here almost 30 years. About 17 years on that big heart and about 14 here.
That's a wrap. <laughs>